All right, people, I am at the Limitless Expo in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. This is a different type of hot out here. It's like a damn sauna in this motherfucker. Been a long travel. Finally made it to Arizona. The heat here is definitely different. Oh my God. It's like sitting in a motherfucking sauna in this bitch. Versus down south, it's like being bathed in like five years in that bitch. So I want to tell you this story of me finally meeting Robert Kiyosaki. Like I finally got to meet this guy. I started my entrepreneurial journey by reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, as did a lot of people. So I want to kind of get into the story about how and what happened as I was meeting this guy. So check this out. Go in the line, the book sign is coming. First thing you go see Kim, Kim Kiyosaki's over there. I get her book. I'm about to go get that sign. Bam. I get in line. We're sitting there talking to her, chatting, talking about the cash flow board game. You know, appreciate what you've done, blah, blah, blah. All the same little spill here. Uh, we start chatting about real estate a little bit, kind of asking her feedback on some stuff. Get the book signed. Uh, I say, hey, so isn't Robert supposed to be signing too? They go, yeah, Robert's signing in a little bit. The line will start over there. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me slide my ass right over here. So I'm early at the line. So I'm second person in the line, right? And <clears throat> I'm waiting on Robert to come get there. And as he comes sit down, everybody's excited. You know, they get a sticky note, write your name on it. So he knows who to sign out the book to. And I got the book, Capitalistic, uh, Capitalist Manifesto. And once I got that book in line, sorry, my, my throat was kind of, my, my voice is going away. But <clears throat> as I got the book signed, I'm going to get a picture. And we're going to get a picture. And this one guy comes from the side, skipping the line like an asshole and pisses Robert off. I'm talking about this dude snaps. He snaps and he's like, guys, I need to get this fucking line in order. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. Let me back up a little bit. Because when I first met Robert, I didn't know this motherfucker was six one six two. I'm like, this dude tall as hell, right? So I'm sitting here like, let me back up. This dude gets the sign, gets the picture. I back up. I'm like, man, this I should have stole off of him right then and there. <clears throat> and um. So I go back into the line. I'm like, you know what? It's cool. Whatever. Let me go back into the line. It's not that short. Uh, it's, uh, it's not that long. Go back into the line. Finally get my picture, Robert Kiyosaki. You can see those pictures here. Uh, I didn't even know one of the pictures. It looked like I wanted to fight him. I didn't. I was just serious face, I guess. And so what happened was ended up getting uh, the book signed, getting a picture with him. I was so excited to meet him. And then like the next uh, a couple hours from there, I ended up seeing him again. And he's just out around in the lobby just chilling just talking with him just kind of chilling and i ended up talking to him and man when i say this dude cool chill and just funny as shit for no reason like you ever meet somebody that's so funny they don't even know that they funny they laugh but it's like nah dude this is a whole nother type of comedy you spent here right and so we talking i said you know what i had a, got on a call one time with grant cardone and i asked him i said when are you guys going to do an interview together i have not seen an interview with you guys and he was like, Grant was like, you know what? We're supposed to be doing one in a couple of weeks. I'm like, for real? Okay, cool. Watch the interview and man, were they button heads. Grant, Grant hang on one second. I'm yeah. being very clear with people. I don't recommend that at all. And I'm like, they was, Robert was like, I don't approve of what you do. Grant was like, well, shit, this is what I do. Fuck what you talking about. All type of stuff, right? And so Robert, when I told him that's, that's where I had, uh, where I had got, I had watched one of the videos. He was like, He's a he's a con man. <laughs> I started dying laughing. I was like, hell no. And he was like, I can't stand fucking people like that. They're all pussy bitch cunts or some shit like that. And I'm like, man, this dude is is dying. And then he started talking about Susie Orman and and how all the people print money and buy it in and all this other shit. And I was just like, man, this this dude funny as hell. Now one thing that kind of threw me over when I was talking to him, dude, we was telling when he when he went to tell a joke and was laughing he like hit me in the chest he hit me. i was like hold up man look 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 you too tall for that shit you better calm down <laughs> we was in that chat and then you know he was like he looked at me he was like man you a good man i really appreciated that and and he was like yeah you're a good man and everything and how and why how i got him to say that is because if you watch his videos you know when you agree with him 
then you on his good side. And so I agree with him. And not just because it's him and he's famous and all this type of stuff, but a lot of stuff he says makes sense. Grant and Robert got two different investment strat investment strategies. Grant does multifamily. Robert does multifamily. Grant believes that, you know, people should invest the money into his funds so they have physical real assets instead of investing in the REITs, uh, which essentially his thing is like a REIT, but you still actually have the physical asset or at least you're, you have part of that. And uh, Robert believes that you should go and find stuff from the beginning, start your way slow, start your way small, and then kind of build up to that point, which I kind of dabble in both a little bit. But I'm more so on the physical, ed the educational side, as far as getting the real life experience. That's just something that I personally want to do. So overall, man, I met Robert. He's a cool dude. Like people say he is scam. I guess he's scam over 1,200 people, you know, whatever. But that's my story for talking to robert uh yeah like i said i didn't know the dude was that tall that threw me off like threw me way off um and like i said he a cool dude he definitely don't take no shit he does not take bullshit he's a marine an ex-marine used to fight in the vietnam war he's been to wars i'm sure his ptsd be flaring and then the fact that he just deals with idiots that just pisses him off and then you know when you get older you kind of you kind of get tired of dealing with the bullshit so i understand why he'd be snapping sometimes and he even says he got an attitude problem like some people don't especially when you're dealing with idiots all the damn time but yeah that's all i got you know if you enjoyed the video like and comment if you had a chance that you meet robert you know let me know in the comments below let me know um if you're able to probably they got a limitless event next year um if you want to get access to that just hit me up i can direct you into the right place and like I said, until next time, you see me on my next video. Deuces, Real Estate with Ray.